So what we're, what we're looking at is the uh, Live Assist uh, playlist here. This is a, a web interface that's come up here on, uh, I've got this all running on my local uh, computer here. You can see the audio uh, tracks that are playing into here. Uh, I'll just show you through the uh, initial part here. This is the, uh, the playlist which is uh, playing right now. Here's the hot button player into here. I'm trying to figure out how to get the the actual music to play here, but I'll uh, get to that in a second here. You'll notice that there's a, a countdown timer happening on this side into here. I'll just go jump over to the, uh, this is uh, how to create a, a live assist uh, playlist. Here's the uh, the playlist which I've scheduled on the server software. You'll notice uh, that it's I've got a playlist called a demo playlist. Uh, right now it's private just to internally to our systems into here. And normally uh, people make a standard playlist. Uh, there's an advanced playlist. Uh, this one is a special live assist playlist. You can see the content inside here. Uh, just to review how you uh, add uh, stuff to a playlist. Uh, you just drag, just select your media and just drag it over and add it to the playlist. And I can delete uh, material off of the playlist like so. I just highlight it and delete it. Right, so the, I've made this uh, this playlist of uh, copyright free material uh, so that we can then uh, do this demonstration here. There's, uh, I'll just be jumping back and forth. So this is the playlist which we made ahead of time. This is the, the Live Assist player. This can be on any web uh, interface. And this is, oops. And here is the dashboard. Uh, I'll just zoom this in a little bit more so that everybody can see all what's going on here. What happened earlier is it downloaded all the media onto this uh, uh, interface. This is showing uh, the present track which is playing. Right, so here we go. And uh, uh, Live Assist Playlist. I've added different things. Uh, uh, underneath here, I can add uh, a station ID into here. I can also add a breakpoint, which I just added here. A breakpoint, what'll happen is it'll play through these songs, and then it, when it comes to the breakpoint, it's automatically going to uh, pause the uh, playlist so that I would be able to uh, speak over the music which is playing. Again, we're going to jump back. Uh, to the playlist in here, it says time remaining a uh, minute and 39 seconds. And uh, we have uh, uh, the pause button. I can pause this song, which I've now just hit pause. This all works through a touch screen interface. I'm using a mouse just for this, uh, for this demonstration here, and I'll resume playing it. You'll notice there's a meter down into here. This is just telling uh, us, or just showing us that uh, uh, material is actually uh, playing through the uh, through the interface. When it comes down to uh, something like 10% of the track remaining, then it's going to uh, start to flash this in yellow for us to let us know that there's uh, something going on, and uh, a break is going to be coming up into here. So I'll just let that run inside here. Now these are buttons uh, over top here. We can uh, click on these buttons. This will automatically interrupt this uh, track playing into here. And uh, uh, we'll then play one of these uh, buttons into here. But I just want to wait. I want to see this. Uh, I want to show you uh, 
bring your attention to this uh, time remaining at the bottom here. It's going to change. It's going to start flashing yellow in a second. There we go. Just telling us that we're getting near the end of the track. It's going to hit that break point and automatically uh, stop. And then I could uh, then talk over the uh, music and introduce the next uh, songs that are coming up. Right, so we've now uh, come to the break point. It's paused, queued up the next track into here. I can then talk about, we're gonna hear three songs by Robert Valley. Uh, Robert Valley, by the way, is a Yukon uh, uh, recording artist. So I finished uh, my introduction. I hit the play button. It then starts playing uh, that song again. And it will go through this whole playlist uh, and uh, play all this material in here. You can schedule this up ahead of time, uh, you know, a, a week in advance, uh, and so that uh, at a certain time, uh, this will automatically load load in for uh, your disc jockeys. This is also showing when this uh, show is uh, going to be ending. I will jump in and show you how I have scheduled it. I've got two. Uh, I've got two uh, demos uh, planned here. I put the mouse hover over top here. It's showing me that uh, the uh, playlist uh, starts at 10 o'clock and it goes for 45 minutes. And then uh, I've got a second one that will then kick in uh, uh, after that, just so that uh, we have something to work with. Right, and uh, the way that we uh, search through our media library on the sidebar to the right-hand side, I can just type in, word ballet and it will then uh, search through the database show all of the uh, material from uh, Robert Ballet I could uh, edit this playlist again and then I could add uh, more material I could also pick out these tracks like so and schedule it in like this. Another uh, neat uh, function that we have here, there's uh, 92 items uh, that are on our media library of Robert Ballet. I could uh, add a dynamic selection. I could say, uh, I will call this uh, Ballet, and I'll, play, I'll tell it to play 10, uh, 10 songs. Right, so now uh, when the, the next time this uh, playlist loads up, it's going to grab 10 random songs of Robert Ballet, which would then show underneath the uh, bottom end of here. So the next part I'm going to uh, show is about the, uh, the buttons. These are the live assist buttons. You'll notice that there's three playlists in here, movie bits, Halloween, sound effects. I'll jump back to the live assist interface. This is how it represents those three playlists inside here in the buttons. So these buttons, these buttons are actually uh, three different playlists. You could put unlimited playlists in here. You could have uh, five rows of uh, different buttons. You could make one for public service announcements. Uh, you could have station IDs uh, or sound effects. So if I just click on the, uh, I don't know, the bear, I just double click on this. You'll notice down here that it's playing the uh, bear. It's got the countdown timer going on it. And again, you're not getting any audio of this, uh, of the actual music playing right now. Once it's finished playing that, it hits pause. I can then resume uh, playing the uh, next uh, uh, track inside here. So I can just hit uh, all these buttons. Notice the countdown timer, time remaining. And Dracula's and so on and so forth. You know, it's probably pretty small to see this uh, countdown timer happening here. I'll just zoom this in here. 
This is just showing the same information inside here. Right, so uh, here's the uh, here's how I made these uh, these these uh, this button player. I'm going to uh, show the playlist tab. I'm going to use the my playlist. This is just going to show my playlist. That's the demo playlist, and these are the three buttons in here. So, for example, I'm going to edit the LASFX. And it's just a, a static playlist. I could make uh, dynamic selections in here, and it would load in, uh, you know, a hundred different uh, buttons and whatnot. Again, I can uh, mask this, and I could just grab in some more material in here. Get a bunch of trumpeter swans, and a rough grouse. I could save that. Playlist is saved. And if I go back and I want to add the, you know, add this, uh, I'll show you how you add this. Uh, very simple. You just grab the uh, playlist, just drag it in here. And now that would create a, a fourth. Uh, row of uh, buttons like so right so music's uh, playing into here again you you won't be able to hear this out in uh, in uh, radio land and we've got two viewers on here great so this uh, this is uh, running on a uh, all through uh, an HTML5 uh, web interface. So you could uh, the uh, if you had a alert box uh, running this software, this could be at your studio. You could be out in the field uh, playing uh, one of these playlists, and so you don't actually have to go into the studio to be able to do this. So you can start and stop the. Uh, the uh, you know, material which is playing, you could cut in with your voice on a local machine. The question that you're going to have is if this is playing on a, if, if this was at the studio and uh, the music is playing and whatnot, and uh, how, do I, how do I get my voice into this over to the studio? Well, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. And this is with the uh, system buttons. There's these two gray buttons at this uh, side here I'll zoom this in a little bit so you can see what's uh, you can see a little bit better what's going on here right one of them is a, uh, a station line in so this would be uh, uh, on uh, on the local on the computer uh, that uh, this is running at the station you could tell you could tell it to switch to the line in audio source so if you had a satellite receiver, let's say, plugged into your, uh, into your studio, you could then just click on this button here. A little triangle shows up to say that this is active. You notice that the track position down in the status thing is saying how long it's going to play for. It's uh, hard coded in for uh, a one hour, uh, uh, a one hour event. And again, you could uh, play the satellite, uh, or you could also take a feed from a uh, from a mixing board uh, from a live event, and you could then broadcast that uh, on the air. And uh, you know, let's 